So with that, uh, today we're going to be talking about active deterrence and all color. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's these are a couple of the last features uh, that we're going to be covering and um, and the very very cool features. Uh, you know, I think that these particular two features are the ones that are really uh, you know the pinnacle, and that's what it's going to be revolution, uh, revolutionizing. You know the uh, the industry. We talked about AI doing that. So active deterrence is like where everything meets on AI, so that the camera is actually now working for you. Okay, uh, and of course the all color is the ability to see in color uh, the whole uh, <clears throat> twenty four hours. Right. So uh, all right, let's get started. So active deterrence. Uh, by definition, it's a surveillance system that can deter intruders in time and prevent potential crime via built-in spotlight and speaker. Uh, during these last two webinars, we have been talking about these particular cameras. And um, these cameras actually have the ability of um, putting together the AI and the speaker that, that they have built in and also the strobe lights so that they can uh, act when they see somebody doing something we don't want them to do, especially, you know, trespassing, right? Um, so <clears throat> with all these uh, hardware pieces put together, uh, the cameras are able to uh, act and say, hey, do not come in here. But we also talked about, uh, uh, you know, some of the beneficial ways that you could use this into, you know, yesterday we were talking about uh, setting up a perimeter in a convenience store so that you can also use this feature to greet customers, right? Um, so you didn't have to necessarily deter, but you can also use the feature uh, to, to have somebody to, or, or to create a, a nice environment, right? Um, to have somebody recognize as a VIP uh, you know, we uh, 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 you can have the facial detection and then you know uh, notify uh, the hostess or the manager that a VIP has come you know has come in. So many features uh, or functions that you could actually use this deterrence feature, not only just to deter somebody from wrongdoing. <clears throat> so um, features. Uh, that are on these particular cameras, uh, we have the built-in spotlight, right? Uh, we have the built-in speaker, the built-in microphone for two-way audio communication, and um, uh, the customized alert voice. Actually, uh, uh, later on, help. Is down, I help you. I'm sorry. Uh, I think somebody came in. Uh, please, guys, remember to mute yourselves. So. Uh, so that we don't get um, we don't get a, a feedback. So um, I was going to say that later on during the presentation, when we go into the actual units, uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually customize the messages and put something cool there for the cameras, right? So uh, or, or or something that you really want to transmit or, or, or pass through the actual camera, right? So um, you have uh, the deep learning algorithm, the high accuracy intrusion alarm. We talked about that this uh, SMD is actually 90%, 99% accurate. Uh, so your notifications and recordings are going to be really, really accurate. Uh, view, live, and playback. Whenever you receive notifications on your phone, you have the ability of reviewing the playback that triggered that particular notification, or you can go immediately into live view so that you can see what's going on in real time, right? Uh, and again, the uh, two-way audio function. So uh, the two-way audio function is a very, very cool feature because uh, as we have said before, will allow you to talk with a particular uh, individual through the, through the camera by just clicking on the microphone button, right? So whenever the camera senses a person, it will send you a notification. You will just tap on the notification. It will open it up. And then you will see uh, uh, the person. 
when you click on the actual uh, microphone button, you're going to be able to start interaction with them, right? Uh, there's certain different cameras that we have. Um, uh, I will show you some of the all the deterrence cameras that we carry in our line. Uh, and these actually have different uh, uh, decibel speakers. I was trying to look for that information uh, but uh, to put it on the presentation, but I couldn't necessarily find all of them. So uh, I will tell you which one is the loudest and the other ones, you know, uh, are may not be as loud, but you could still definitely uh, hear uh, the messages, right? So <clears throat> let's say that, you know, you receive a notification, right? And then you tap on it. So this is basically what you're going to see whenever you tap on it. You're going to see the camera, right? And for you to engage into the conversation, you just have to press this little microphone button, okay? So this microphone button is going to enable the two-way audio. There is a little speaker actually uh, uh, located behind this message that storage service, uh, device talk on. Uh, this, this message you're going to get it once you press the button. But if, if, if you're not pressing the button, you will see here a little speaker icon. That will allow you to hear, but it won't allow you to do two-way audio. So if you cr click on the microphone, uh, you will, <clears throat> if you click on the microphone, you will be able to engage into two-way audio, okay? So um, you see also where it says here, more functions. <clears throat> if you press that little button that says more functions, you're gonna open up this little panel here. You have your favorites, you have the PTC, the fisheye, you have the wiper for the PTCs that have wipers, and then you have this little uh, uh, light bulb, okay? So if you press on that little light bulb, you're gonna get another light bulb and a little bell, right? These two icons are going to allow you to trigger the siren and to trigger the LED light on the camera uh, from your phone, okay? So you don't have to wait to receive a notification or even if you have them scheduled at a certain day and time that are not going to get off uh, or triggered, you can go here and if you see something, you could manually uh, trigger the alarm or the actual uh, doorbell, okay? So, uh, I'm not sorry, doorbell, uh, the alarm or the, the, the spotlight, okay? So uh, keep that in mind. This is another nice feature. You can actually control the, the, the active deterrence camera uh, by just going into the phone app, clicking on the little eyeball, uh, more functions at the, eye, the light bulb, and then you'll, you'll be able to create it. Now, we are working also on another button there that will allow you to arm and disarm your deterrence cameras like if they were an alarm system, right? So that let's say you're going out of town and uh, you wanna arm your camera, you're gonna be able to press the button and then the camera will go into full deterrence mode so that if anybody at any given time will go into your premises, the camera will go off, okay? Um, also, uh, on the other, on, 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 on the opposite side, if you, let's say you have a gathering and you have your camera scheduled to go off at 9 p.m. Uh, and, and then uh, from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., um, let's say you have a family gathering, you don't want the alarm to be tripping all the time, right? So you can actually go in there uh, in the, uh, and press that button and disarm the, uh, the, the deterrence camera. So I, I guess that those are gonna be a, you know, a couple of really, really cool features uh, to allow you to fully interact with the deterrence functions, okay? So, um, <clears throat> now let me show you the product line. So these are the cameras that we have that are uh, available for deterrence, okay? Um, on HDCVI, we currently have another two models, but these models are gonna get, get, be replaced by the first model here on my list, the first model on the left. So uh, the TDOECS 540L2A-PD, it's gonna be a deterrence camera on HTCVI 
that is going to have the blue and red LED lights. Okay. Uh, we talked about these blue and red LED lights with uh, one of our, I think his name was Mark. Uh, he was uh, going to install these in a club um, and, um, and, and dark alley, you know, people at 2 a.m. Uh, so maybe the first thing that they want to get away from are the blue and red lights, right? So uh, maybe these could definitely work for that type of scenario, but could also work for, um, you know, different types of scenarios. So, uh, but the HCCDI camera that we will have is going to have those blue and red LED lights. It's going to have the built-in mic and speaker, but with coax, you're, we're not able still to create two-way audio. You can trigger a uh, pre-recorded notification or you can trigger a, um, a, a siren, but you cannot talk through the camera. If you want to get, uh, if you want to get the, uh, the, the, the two-way communication, you're going to have to make it through the uh, MDR, DVR, okay? Now, the rest of the cameras that I have here are IP cameras. Uh, yes, Doc, we do have a couple other I, uh, you know, uh, IP cameras that are deterrents, uh, even some uh, thermal cameras, but um, uh, those cameras, uh, and I don't know if, if you're talking any PTC in particular, that, that is deterrence, uh, but uh, those cameras, uh, we still have them, but they're not gonna be available maybe in the near future. There are gonna be some new models that are gonna be replacing them, okay? So, um, but for now, all these models, except for the CDI camera, are available to, uh, for purchase, okay? So we have the, the blue and red LED light, uh, uh, the terrace camera, the PD, we call it the PD, uh, available. Then we have these dome, which actually this particular dome has the strongest um, speaker available. So all the other cameras have a speaker. I think that, you know, all these eyeballs and the bullet here, they have a similar decibel uh, uh, capacity uh, on their speakers. But in particular, the, the dome has a, a much louder speaker, okay? So I still think that this particular dome, you know, domes are not necessarily that aggressive as cameras. The other ones, you know that they're looking at you, the dome can actually hide a little bit more uh, and, and, and it's not as aggressive for, you know, people. So this particular one could be the one that you would like to use for, you know, uh, the good side of, of, the, of, the, of the messages, right? Like greetings, and some other things, right? So the dome, uh, I recommend you to uh, give it a shot. The speaker is really clear, really loud. Uh, and again, I'm gonna run some tests later on whenever we go, we get to it so that we can, uh, I can show you how clear it is. I hope that through the Zoom app, uh, uh, you can uh, um, appreciate it or, or actually, uh, uh, you know, identify the, the difference from the different uh, type of speakers and different type of cameras, right? So all these particular cameras are five megapixels except for the last one on the right. That one is our one of our first models. We still have it available. Uh, it's a, a little type of bullet uh, and it's eight megapixels again. It does not have the white LED light. It's got like a little more yellowish type of light. Uh, it's all of them do have the IDS. Uh, some of these cameras, you can actually see that they're all color as well. If you notice, they have uh, multiple little lights. The one that's uh, pretty much uh, uh, showing that is the, the one, the PD, the IPPD, that shows that uh, on one little uh, LED light, it's gonna be flashing red and blue. But the other one, it's gonna be uh, uh, white, right? So that's what's gonna give the camera the all color capability. On the dome, we're gonna have two of these 
um, um, LED lights, making it all color, and one of them for deterrence. The, the bullet in particular and the eight megapixel camera, they're gonna be IR, okay? So you will have black and white on these two particular cameras at night, okay? The rest of them are gonna be all color, okay? And all these IP cameras have SD card available. Remember that we were talking about that, you know, these cameras are becoming their own system uh, because they no longer need to be connected to anything else. Uh, they, uh, on the IP side, of course, uh, they have their SD card for recording. Uh, with the AI coding, they're gonna be able to store big amounts of recording uh, uh, in the little uh, 256 SD card. And I say 256 because that's the maximum uh, size of SD card that you can put in there. I am sure that that's gonna get better and better with time. But right now, the maximum is 256. And the AI coding is gonna help you save a lot of storage space, okay? So, um, and also remember that these IP cameras, they have their own QR code. So you can go and enroll, you know, the camera uh, on the phone app uh, directly. Now, also remember that you need to, if you wanna have the full access to the cameras, like the two-way audio and the, the triggering of the uh, uh, LED light and the siren from the phone app, you need to be connecting directly to the camera. You're gonna have to have this particular camera connected to the LAN, and if you have an MBR, you can always bring it from the LAN to the MBR. Um, so that will not affect the, uh, the, 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 the actual recording of the MBR. But uh, if you wanna have full access from your phone to all these features, uh, you're gonna have to do it that route, okay? So uh, we, we have uh, several different options. Uh, I think that this particular slide is great because this will allow you to visualize what different options you have for deterrence. Uh, and um, again, you know, just uh, ask your distributor or the place where you're buying from um, about these models and pricing, okay? Um, let me add a couple more people. So questions about deterrence, uh, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be moving on into all color. Uh, again, as I said before, we have a shorter presentation uh, today. So, uh, any questions about deterrence cameras, guys? Are any of these cameras motorized, like that large pendant camera that I usually sell? So, none of these particular cameras are motorized. Uh, they're all fixed lenses for now. Uh, they will be maybe because you know everything they're packing inside um but uh, uh we should be getting some motorized cameras that are deterrents in the near future uh, i know that we had also some ppcs and some uh, uh um uh thermal cameras that were motorized uh uh with deterrents but uh, these particular ones uh, are just fixed lenses Okay, so um, all right. If there are no more questions about deterrence, let's move on into all color. So all color is fantastic, right? We have been speaking about all color, but now uh, all color is also coming in with AI. All right. So the all color cameras are all are are are, are going to start being equipped with. Uh, the SMD that we have discussed in previous days. Um, so that you not only get the beauty of seeing all color during the day and night, but also you get the ability to uh, have more accurate uh, uh, alarm notifications and recording, okay? So with that, you know, I think that, again, these cameras are becoming really, really uh, cool. Um, we have here a couple of videos, guys. I really would like to show you these videos so that you can see the difference between uh, a traditional IR image and a night color image. 
I think that these uh, uh, images are, or videos are going to pretty much explain everything that I would love to you know, explain with, with words. Uh, so let's take a look at that. First, we're going to actually start with the one on the right with the traditional IR image. Can you actually see the camera is, uh, it's raining. So see all these uh, water, uh, you know, uh, droplets reflecting the IR lights, right? Uh, it's all those, um, you know, uh, 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 all that rain is gonna be triggering um, uh, motion detection and alerts, right? Um, so you can actually see uh, how that affects the camera. Also, take a look at the uh, stop sign over here. So the stop sign over here, you know, it's invisible. You, we all know it's a stop sign, but you cannot really necessarily tell. And, and I think that both videos actually started at the same time. I was planning on, on, on uh, doing one and another one, uh, but uh, let me just pause that second video and continue with uh, the IR. So you, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there were some, you know, uh, uh, lighting going on and that also was affecting the camera, the previous cameras, right? So these, these uh, uh, were used as notifications and you see that, that changing on the lighting conditions, even though it is still black and white, that will still treat uh, a, a notification and a recording, right? Uh, we see cars go by, but we don't know what type of car. It's really hard to, to tell what type of cars they are because we don't see details. We see the, the, the water coming down. So all that is what most of the customers do have out there, right? So, oh, let me go back up. And now let me play the the actual all color camera. You see how nice it looks. There is no reflection on, on, on uh, of the water falling down uh, and it is raining. Don't believe that this is a different video. I don't know if you can actually tell the floor, you know, you see some of the water coming down, uh, but the camera is very steady, right? You can see very well the stop light, right? And you can see the cars that, that are going by real well. Uh, it is actually it seems like could be a day uh, time video, right? Instead of a nighttime. Um, all color, it's making a huge difference when it comes to, to, uh, to video. There is another car going by. You can actually tell that it is a dark color vehicle, maybe a blue or black. Um, really, really cool. Uh, there is, I think that here it is. Uh, there is another car approaching. You see, uh, that's a red car. I think that that particular car might be up on the awkward or something. Um, so it's, uh, it's easier to identify because you can see more detail. You can see color uh, than with the other camera. So again, and I've said that before, you know, this is a day and night difference when it comes to IR, traditional IR and all color images, right? So um, again, all I can say is much less than what these particular videos can actually say for themselves. Um, <clears throat> all right, so how does this work? Well, uh, we have a large aperture lens built in into these particular cameras, right? The, the, the more it opens, <clears throat> the more light, <clears throat> sorry about that. The more it opens, the more light it allows in. That definitely helps the camera to see more, more light, more color, right? So that's why these, these cameras are able to see in color because they have these uh, uh, large aperture lens. I don't know if you can actually relate these to animals, like for instance, cats. You see cats during the day, they have, you know, their, uh, their iris is very close during the day, you know, and at night they have them really, really wide open. You could see a big round, you know, iris in their eyes because that allows the animals to see much better. Well, same things with, with uh, the, uh, the, the cameras. 
by opening it up, that will allow the camera to see much better, right? <clears throat> so it's it's a very, very diff good difference. Yeah, I saw a, a message saying that they need to swap all the cameras to all color. I agree. You know, uh, I actually have swapped many in my actual house too, so that uh, I could see, you know, in all color at night too. It's, it's really cool. Uh, and, and also, you know, this has been evolving too. We have <clears throat> the previous ISP that we were using when this actually got released was good. But if you see the difference between the 4.0 version versus the regular version, it's huge. You see how these, uh, um, how this image differs from the previous one, right? And uh, also, uh, we this not only helps to see better, but the reason why you see more detail is because you get a thirty percent increase in photo, photo sensitivity. So I don't know if you're uh, if you're familiar with DNR, uh, digital noise reduction, three DNR, two DNR. Uh, so those technologies were um, helping the cameras to have a clearer picture because you, you of course understand that the images are made out of pixels. So when the pixel was not necessarily recognized and back in the day, I don't know if you guys have been in the industry, have been in the industry for a very long time. Back in the day at nighttime, uh, you, you, we used to see a lot of flickering around, like there were bugs and such, but it was, there were no bugs. There were these little pixels that were precisely <clears throat> um, uh, not able to, to recognize or, 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 or see a color. So that's why they were like coming in and out and coming in. So the DNR, what it did is that it spotted these particular pixels and then uh, uh, make them the exact same color as the next one that was being able to identify uh, a color, right? So uh, you will see a much smoother picture. But now with this, it, since you're getting a lot more light, uh, <clears throat> the increase in photo sensitivity will allow the pixel to, uh, to identify its color. And with that, you get a lot more detail in the picture. So uh, it's, it's actually fantastic how this works. Uh, and also the reason why we're also going from blue light to the warm light that we call is because the warm, warm light will allow you to see real, uh, more, more real colors than the blue light. The blue light will distortion certain colors and you know we'll get the benefit out of all color from the camera because yeah, oh, it was a purple car. No, it was not purple, it was red, right? So that's why, you know, uh, uh, we have migrate from blue to uh, warm light, okay? Um, <clears throat> let me show you, these, these are the product line for all color. So um, on the HTCBI side, we have five megapixels. Uh, we, we used to have two megapixels and also you guys may have gotten some of these two megapixel uh, versions on both IP and HD over quarks. But uh, the new models, the new models that are replacing them and that are already available are these. On the HTCBI side, they're all five megapixels. We have the bullet form and then we have the eyeball form. We also have the active deterrence camera here because then again, it's all color, right? So um, <clears throat> we can see here that, you know, they all have white light, LED lights. They have built-in microphones. This is one of the good features about our HD over coax line that, you know, many of our uh, units do pack built-in microphones. Uh, not everybody used that particular feature but it's re it really comes in handy whenever you want to use it, right? Uh, they're all outdoor rated. Uh, and of course, the HCBI, since the one that's doing the recording is the recorder, the DVR, they don't come uh, with any storage. We will be surprised that maybe in the near future they will, but uh, I doubt it. That, you know, uh, 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 will be 
the case for the IP cameras. Now, on the IP camera side, we have a couple of different models, right? We saw already the deterrence cameras here, the, the, three, the three ones on the right, they're all color, they're also deterrence, they come with IVS, the way audio, so on and so forth, right? But we also have these four megapixel cameras. So these four megapixel cameras um, are, we have one without IR and without LED light, so nothing, okay? Now, this particular camera, it's great. I like it a lot because, you know, you never see it in the dark, but the camera sees you. Now, this particular camera, do uh, it, it does require a little bit of uh, uh, light to see. Let me give you an example of where you could actually use this camera. And actually, this is an example of one of our customers. So we have a customer that has uh, a, another customer with a, a chain of movie theaters, right? So these movie theaters, they wanted to put some cameras in theaters because, you know, they get these kids that uh, will go in there and just, you know, mess with people, throw popcorn, or, uh, you know, just do not act properly for, for the movie theaters. And they needed to be able to identify these, these people, right? But since it was dark and they didn't want to have, you know, cameras there with IRs and all that stuff, uh, uh, they used this particular unit. So with the little light that the projector is, is, is um, it's a, uh, 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 it, it's, it's, um, but the projector is uh, projecting, <laughs> uh, uh, the cameras were able to use that light to see the whole theater and the whole, you know, seat section. So it was fantastic. Uh, uh, they loved it. Uh, I particularly also have uh, one of those in the back of my house. The neighbors have, how they keep all, always, you know, some lights there. The camera is able to use those lights to illuminate and, and actually see my whole backyard uh, real well. Uh, I really like the camera, but also we have the counterpart with the white LED light. So what I tell people is um, don't try to use the camera with no IRs on a dark uh, warehouse, right? On an in indoor. You could use this particular camera in parking areas where, uh, let's say, for instance, uh, car lots, right? Where you have um uh, uh light you know that they're gonna keep the light uh, all night long you could use this particular camera for that uh even also pair it with our solar solution why because since it does not have any led lights uh, uh or neither ir or uh white led lights then the camera is gonna be able to uh uh it's gonna use a lot less wattage. And with that, the, the solar panel can actually uh, you know, manage it real well. You could maybe add more cameras. I think that the wattage consumption on this particular camera is about 3.6 watts, somewhere in that area. So, you know, it's actually fantastic. Um, uh, whereas the other ones are of course going to be using eight or nine watts per hour. So um, different uses, different types of cameras, but then again, you know, we have a big line of uh, uh, all color cameras so that you can use for the different uh, installations, okay? All right, um, are there any questions about all color? Uh, we are about to go, um, we're gonna about to, to, to go into test drive mode. So, uh, I want to show you how easy it is to program uh, the deterrence feature on the cameras from the camera directly uh, to the actual uh, to the actual uh, uh, from the camera to the DVR or NVR. Okay, so um, let me. What I'm going to be doing here is uh, I'm going to be switching users here. Um, and um, give me one second, stop sharing. There we go. 
All right. Can you all see that screen? Excellent. Yes. We can. yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So um, this particular screen, um, let me just go here. So this particular screen, um, it's, a, it's a DVR, it's an NDR, I'm sorry. And these are IP cameras, okay? So we already have covered, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the features and some of the basic settings on this NDR. So I'm gonna jump straight to uh, the deterrence and how to enable, okay? So AI, right? What we need to do is remember first thing, we need to go into parameters. Oh, since I left it open for a little bit, I'm gonna have to log in again, no problem. So AI, and then we're gonna go into parameters, right? So if you have a deterrence camera, guys, you have to go into IDS. Now, remember, you have to go and um, select your smart plan before you wanna work with the cameras. I think the camera number five, it's a deterrent, ca deterrent camera. So you wanna make sure that your IDS, uh, it's selected. And once you select that, then you click the OK button, okay? So once the OK button is, 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 is pressed, you receive a little confirmation there that you know it was successfully submitted. Um, IDS, we go to IDS directly, and then we jump into camera number five, right? So that is our camera. Okay, what can we do to the camera? Well, let me just erase these, you know, uh, and let's start from scratch. Um, of course, if you're gonna be doing, you know, IBS by the recorder, you choose that, but we wanna program the camera directly from the MVR, right? So the camera has the deterrence capabilities. So we go into AI by camera, and then we press this little plus button, okay? So this plus button here will first give you the, the rule number one, and it's gonna ask you to draw your rule, right? In this case, the type, it's a, a tripwire. Uh, this is something that I wanted to tell you. So for some reason, uh, you know, some devices uh, are actually, um, like displaying, I think that this has to do with uh, the, uh, the web login that is not helping us to display the little, um, the options that you have for missing abandoned objects, trip wire intrusion and all that, right? So I don't know, it's not allowing me, but okay, well, we're just gonna try to work with the trip wire right now so that we don't lose a lot of time. Uh, in it. So let's draw the rule, right? We draw the rule and we create a rule over here, okay? And you see that it actually could continue and you can create a square, right? If you right click on it, then that'll make it, you know, that'll, that'll, that'll close it. If you wanna remove that and then just do a single line, guys, then you just have to right click and that will keep your rule number one created, all right? So when you do that, once you do that, then we're gonna go into directions just to see uh, what is it that we wanna do with it. Hey, I only want traffic to go from right to left, or I want it to go from left to right. Let's say if you're, if you're having pedestrians going into a certain direction, like in a school or in a, uh, uh, a, a factory, right? The entrance is to this door. You should not go back from this door. So if by any 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 reason somebody comes and uh, tries to go to the uh, opposite route or to, then the uh, the, the camera will tr trigger an alarm, right? So um, here we're gonna choose to do, and here we're gonna do both. Okay, here we're gonna do uh, human. Okay, target filter, first we're gonna check that. And we're only gonna do human because it's gonna be a little hard for me to put a car in, right? So uh, let's just choose human. 
And then <clears throat> we want the camera to do audio and light or simply light, right? Or simply audio, right? In this case, we're gonna do camera audio and light, okay? So here we get to choose uh, the, the different uh, uh, audios that we have, okay? <clears throat> we could do alarm, we could do the different pre-recorded messages, okay? So if we do alarm, we click okay, it's gonna be like a siren, like woo, 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 right? Something like that. Uh, and then you can also schedule this, okay? And say, hey, <clears throat> I only want these to be Monday to Friday, right? Um, from, uh, let's say, um, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m., right? Uh, if somebody comes in after hours, it's okay to use that particular door. I don't care, no problem, right? So if we click OK, then we have our schedule. Um, I'm sorry about that. Let me actually, uh, so on the schedule, you notice that uh, Saturday actually remained, right? Uh, because that's the one that we chose over here to do the settings. So I can always go back into Saturday and say, hey, um, I don't want any on Saturday. I don't mind Saturday. Uh, I click OK and um, or and also Sunday, right? Sorry, setting. I keep on pressing the wrong setting. Um, I can remove Sunday. I don't want anything Sunday. If somebody comes in on Sunday to work, it's OK to use that door, right? So but the rest of the week is there, right? So uh, you can also have the MVR do something with it, okay? So alarm port, you could actually have the MVR, like what we remember what we had yesterday with the deterrence camera that was opening up the door. So you can have the MVR send the alarm output from the back of the MVR to that particular arm so that you can open the door automatically, okay? Um, or you could use the camera uh, relay, right? So uh, this particular camera may not necessarily have that relay. So uh, if the camera are, is equipped with a relay, you will see it here, okay? Um, or actually it might be somewhere over here, PTC linkage. You could do the tour, PTC linkage. We talked about that, right? So uh, alarm tone for the recorder, so on and so forth. So um, with that, uh, we're gonna press the OK button and that's about it. You know, the camera is now ready to be triggered by somebody that's, you know, uh, uh, trespassing or going through this rule. Um, <clears throat> Terry, uh, if you are listening, <clears throat> if you don't mind going by that particular rule, that'll be greatly appreciated, okay? So for that, we might want to go into this, um, um, close that. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry, again, I don't know if you can hear that, but that was, there we go. That's Terry going by. <clears throat> and um, you can see the camera going off, okay, over here, right? So that is actually pretty cool. Um, now let's go back into the setting, okay? Um, we said many, many times that you can actually customize audio files, right? How do you customize audio files? Well, you can come here, I'm sorry, uh, let's go back into uh, the, the, the recorder and you move into the next screen right, and you see this little icon that says audio. So if you click on audio, here you can select an audio file and upload it. So, sorry, select audio file, you can go into your computer, get an audio file, either WAV extension or MP3. Just so you know, I think that MP3 is a little more acceptable than uh, WAV. WAV sometimes have a little bit of a, an issue going up, it will go up. You just have to kind of cut it and make it to the right size. But MP3 actually seems to be accepted a lot better. 
So if you're going to look for particular audio files or you're going to record your audio file, then you can do that, okay? And make sure that the extension is again MP3 preferably or uh, WAV, okay? So once you have your audio files, <clears throat> you can select them and then upload it here. So um, I don't know if you can read that, but uh, those are some funny uh, 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 messages that I got out of a website. Um, give me one quick second. Yeah, web, web arts are very large. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's why, you know, I think that you have to cut them and make them smaller so that the actual um, uh, uh, system can identify it. Um, let me admit somebody else that's coming in. Okay, so um, let's use these audio files on this particular camera, right? Um, and also what I'm gonna do is, instead of using it on that particular camera, I am gonna go and use it on the face detection, the other camera that we have. So remember that we have the camera uh, the number one camera, the, the deterrence camera, the dome, that one is actually uh, a lot, uh, it, it's got the biggest speaker, so you can hear a lot better. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, base detection and I'm gonna enable it, right? Well, it was already enabled. There, there's, there's another person approved to go into that particular door. And um, <clears throat> I am going to do, um, sorry, face, -to face detection by camera, uh, rule, schedule. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I am just going to go and enable alarm tone, OK? So by enabling alarm tone, I am going to choose some of these uh, uh, audio files and again, I don't know if you can, you know, familiarize with it just by reading it. Uh, these are Home Alone's audio files that Kevin used with the pizza guy and the guy at the hotel that was coming for the tips and all that, right? So I am going to do that. I'm gonna use that particular file, keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> and I'm gonna okay it and that should do it. So now, what I am going to do is I am going to go back here and going to go live and I'm going to choose these particular cameras. Hang on. Yeah, where are my cameras? Okay, so I am going to, no, actually, well, yeah, I'm going to use that one. And then I'm also going to use this one, okay? The facial recognition so that you can see me. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there so that you can actually hear how clear that is, okay? So um, you come with me. You will see the screen. I am going to go to that particular camera. And we're going to trip it so that you can see and hear. Oh, no, you're hearing the siren, right? One more setting, one more setting, I was missing. That siren is loud, can you hear that? Okay, here we go. We give ourselves another shot. This is actually good. <laughs> so let's go in here and go to the setting again. Um, MBR, sorry, uh, live, I'm gonna close live. I'm gonna go to AI, phase detection camera. Oh, that's a uh, search parameters, phase detection. It is enabled, right? And alarm tone. Okay, so uh, more, plug, buzzer, no, that's not it. Uh, mm. So let's see, let's see. 
Post record schedule. So what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to jump into the actual camera itself. Let me see. Let me log in. See, I was playing with it, and I don't know if I left the settings open on that particular one. There it is. But I will, I will check um, on the um, not network, sorry, events, and then go to face detection, right? And um, warning lights. Flickering, um, okay, here it is, audio linkage. Okay, it was disabled, because so I disabled it manually. So uh, maybe one of the things that I didn't do is that I didn't okay it on the MBR, and that's why I didn't save it. So, but now it's enabled, we're making sure that it is enabled, and we're gonna do that again, and we are going to save it, okay? So now that it's saved, uh, let's go back into that particular, uh, the MBR, so that you can see both cameras. And I am going to get rid of the other cameras uh, audio so that you can clearly hear this one, okay? So IBS camera number four, let's get there. And I am going to, uh, oh, that's not, it's camera number five. Okay, so that particular camera, let's actually just, I am going to erase that particular one. And then we're gonna do another, another exercise with this one, okay? And click the okay button. See, that's what I think I was missing on the other one, all right? So now that we're sure that this particular one is working, let's go into live and pull cameras number, uh, one and number five so that you can see me go by okay all right guys this is it let's go so uh how you doing good good all right so let's actually um you see cameras capturing me <laughs> did you guys hear that I couldn't hear it very clear. I heard no. something like a message, but it. Actually, it was cycling already. Let me. Oh, the machine guns is pretty cool too. I'll play that one right now. Come on. Since I'm here, it's not. Let me get out of the picture and then just. It's pretty loud in here, actually. You can hear it really well, and it's very clear too. Um, I, uh, uh, I think that you, uh, well, I wanted to bring the, the tablet, of course, so that you could hear it uh, the way that I hear it. Uh, of course, maybe the audio is not as good on the tablet, but it definitely works the same. So let me, let's do another exercise here so that you can see how this works too. Um, uh, the other camera. So uh, let's close the live. Let's go back into AI, right? And then let's come in into um, IBS, choose camera number five, right? Oh, that's it. Keep on confusing. Okay, IBS, camera number five, and I am going to draw more lights. So here, well, some of these guys are gonna trip it. <laughs> uh, let's do a couple of uh, lines here. And then uh, let's do the machine gun to see the reaction. How about that? So trip wire, camera audio, uh, setting, let's do the machine gun. Shooting machine, there you go. And we're just gonna, we just wanna play it one time. We don't wanna annoy the crap out of everybody here. Uh, so 
camera audio. We are going to do this with humans, right? And we're also going to do the LED light so you can actually see the whole thing. Okay, so let's go and press the OK button so that I can pass the information to the camera. And let's go, let's go try to trip it. All right, so let me go into live so that you can see this. And we are going to be doing five and six so that you can see the camera tripping. Okay, all right. So, and I'm bringing the iPad here with me again so you can hear that. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so here we go. I don't know if you were able to hear it real well or not, but uh, it's actually pretty funny. Um, you still hear it now? <laughs> That's because he saw this bad guy over here. <clears throat> so um, uh, again, these are just a couple of examples of what you can actually do with these particular cameras. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's easy. We did several uh, different exercises here with, uh, you know, setting up the deterrence, uh, going in directly in the camera. Remember, <clears throat> here, actually, uh, you, don't, you, have, you, you have also to choose your smart plan. If you're going directly to the camera, let me just go live directly there. Uh, so if you have your, your camera here, uh, you have to go to settings, right? You, you have to choose your smart plan if you, especially if you have the dome camera, particularly the dome camera is the one with the most features. It's got phase detection, it's got uh, um, uh, IBS, it's got heat map, it's got people counting, it's got pretty much, you know, all the features that we have available that one particular packs it, right? So, uh, but for the deterrence part, make sure you choose your smart plan <clears throat> or, uh, or, if you want to do, you know, uh, IDS, you choose IDS. Uh, uh, if you want to do face detection, you do face detection. And then you come in here to do IDS. You can create your rules, right? If somebody goes by uh, <clears throat> a particular area, you know, uh, and then here you do your audio linkage. You, have, you could have that sending an email. You have to program the email though. <clears throat> warning light. Honestly speaking, you know, uh, you could have it sending an email that could be fine for like a company that would like to have an email just to keep notifications so that they could browse through them. But if you already have, you know, the notifications on your phone, you don't really need that feature, right? So um, um, you can create multiple rules in a single camera, right? Uh, and, and for instance, have that particular one do you know the uh, uh, the filthy animal uh, 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 audio file, and then if, if they go through, then you can have the, the shooting machine, <clears throat> right? So that you know they know that you're serious, right? That something is going on. So you could do that, or or think about <clears throat> you know in a in in in, in that you know uh, uh, in a, in a supermarket. Hey, welcome for you know, come in the supermarket. And if you, if you draw another one where the, uh, the, 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 the fruits and uh, vegetables are, then you could have the camera play a file for that specific part or region, right? So um, the imagination, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's what's gonna come down to, uh, whatever it is that you think of that you can create, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, but uh, the, the camera can give you all that. Uh, it's really, really cool. And um, well, I hope that definitely you start implementing these type of systems in your installations. <clears throat> um, all right, guys. Well, uh, 
So uh, with that, you know, it's 9.30. I thought that it was going to be a little shorter, but I think that, uh, uh, no, it went, it went quick. Uh, I hope that you guys learn how to, uh, you know, program all that. And, um, and I, I really, really hope that uh, all these series of trainings were useful to you. Um, we are going to do more trainings for the wireless systems, for the intercom systems, and for the solar systems as well, so that you guys can learn um, how to use those as well, okay? So, <clears throat> can you hear me? Somebody just mentioned that I lost audio. I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> that must have been uh, Gabriel. Um, but uh, again, you know, I think it was a very cool, interesting, you know, class. I am really, really thankful for your time. You guys have been a great audience, uh, engaging. Uh, please, uh, I would love to get your feedback uh, for the local local ones. You know, you can always come in. Uh, for those uh, uh, in, in the North, you can, we are gonna have uh, uh, a series of counter days next week where Terry is gonna be out there showing some of this equipment, uh, the new TDSS line for the uh, NDAA. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, he's gonna be there to answer pretty much all the questions that you may have. So uh, please uh, talk to ECD, talk to uh, uh, your sales rep and ask them, when are we gonna be in your city? Uh, I'm, I think that they might have already sent a couple of flyers, but uh, uh, call and ask them, uh, we should be uh, uh, there uh, in Houston on Tuesday, uh, Dallas on Wednesday, uh, Austin uh, Thursday, and San Antonio on Friday. So um, looking forward to a nice, you know, busy week and looking forward to seeing you there. Yeah, thank you, Jorge, right. for all your support. Appreciate you. No, thank you, Brett. Thank you for everything you guys do, too. So, guys, uh, I have some time for Q's and A's. Uh, if you want to unmute yourselves and even tell me, hey, I didn't like anything. <laughs> oh, that's welcome. You know, uh, all the feedback is greatly appreciated. If you think that you would have liked to see something else, you know, feel free to pitch in and, um, you know, I'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll try to shape this a little bit better with your feedback. So uh, I'm, I'm ready. If you guys want to unmute yourselves and start commenting or, or, or asking, uh, I'm all we all we are all ears. Um, Doc, we are going to be sending the the certificates um, later on today or tomorrow. Yes, and uh, for that, please, uh, we need your name, uh, your company name, and your pocket license, and an email address where we can send these certificates to, okay? So name, company name, pocket license, and an email where we can actually uh, send these to, okay? If you are pursuing CEU credits to renew your uh, uh, license, okay? If you just wanna have the certificate, to, to uh, for accreditation that you have taken these these courses, uh, we can still send them out to you, no problem. Um, if you also want to send your information uh, through ECD or directly to our sales at tvsecuritysystems.com email, that's completely up to you. Sales at tvsecuritysystems.com. All right. Well. So no more questions, guys? Comments? Jorge. Yes, sir. This is Bill. Uh, hey, Bill. Great, great presentation. Thank you. Uh, just awesome. real quick, can you tell us how that siren sounds one more time? <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks so much. It was great. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad you guys liked it. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, I'm not a, a great interpreter of sirens, but <laughs> I thought that I, uh, I I was able to pass that uh, message along. Um, 
No, thank you. Thank you for joining. I know you guys are very busy. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys spending time here with us. Thank you.